April 1967. An exchange of artillery fire between Israel and Syria, escalated into a full-scale tank and air battle, with six Syrian fighter jets being downed, while the Israel Air Force claimed to have suffered no losses. Despite continuing diplomatic efforts to lessen tensions, Israel and its Arab neighbors mobilized for war. Fifth of June, 7.45 a.m. The Israel surprise attack on 5th of June struck 10 Egyptian airfields. The first wave of 160 Israel jets took off and subsequent ones followed at 10 minutes interval. The Israel Air Force's first targets were MiG-21 bases. Israel aircraft entered Egyptian airspace at extremely low altitude and technicians manning Egyptian radar systems saw nothing. As a result, the Egypt interceptor bases were caught entirely by surprise. The first Israel wave attacked 11 bases catching much of the Egyptian Air Force on the ground and destroying them before they got airborne. The Israel jets then returned to Israel were quick turned in 7 minutes and left in a second wave that attacked 14 Egyptian bases. The opening stages of Operation Focus were a complete success. Egypt's air force of nearly 500 combat aircraft was destroyed in the space of three hours with only minor losses to the Israel Air Force. Between Israel attacks, the ground personnel pulled surviving aircraft including some damaged ones out of the exposed area. Only four MiG-19 pilots remained in Hurghada. They stopped Israel paratroopers seizing Sharm al-Sheikh. They were patrolling the area when two of them engaged four Mirages, which were escorting three Nur Atlas transports. They were shot down in a dogfight with Mirages. Meanwhile, two others went after the Nur Atlases and shot down two of them. Two hours after the first strike, four MiG-21s took off. They flew over in Shas, and saw two Mirages on the left. One of the Mirages were shot down by an Atoll missile. The Egyptian Air Force claims to have shot down no more than four enemy aircraft on the first day. Between 20 and 30 Egyptian combat aircraft survived intact at the end of the war's first day. Sixth of June, by down on the sixth of June, the Egypt mechanics had made six MiG-19 serviceable in a hangar at Fayyad. At noon on 6th of June, a flight of four MiG-19s engaged six Mirages. One of the MiG-19s was shot down during this dogfight. Another MiG-19 section was also intercepted by eight Mirages and both were shot down. On the second day, Egypt resistance was stiffening and Israel Air Force lost 15 aircraft. In return, 
Israel claimed to have shot down 19 Egyptian aircraft. For Egypt, the war's third and fourth days focused on dispersing vulnerable surviving aircraft, while rebuilding a small fight force of MiG-21 at Cairo West and in Shahs. Four MiG-19s attacked Israel tanks near Bir al abiyad on 7th of June. On 7th of June Israel Air Force admitted losing two jets in air combat, but claimed to have destroyed some Egyptian fighter jets. 8th of June, a flight of MiG-19s against Israel tanks advancing towards the Suez Canal, jumped by a standing patrol of 8 to 12 mirages. One MiG was shot down and one was damaged. Finally, they could fly home. By the 9th of June, it was clear that Egypt had lost. Available evidence indicates that when the war was over, Egypt lost almost 65% of its strength either on the ground or in the air. Two hundred fifty fighters and fighter bombers and 55 bombers plus unspecified number of support aircraft were lost. Israel initially claimed to have destroyed 451 on the ground and between 50 to 60 in the air. This was a huge exaggeration. The Israel Air Force admitted 45 losses on all fronts while outside observers put the figure between 55 and 60. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to subscribe to our channel.